If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in at Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash and sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. It's how shall lead them. To buy our merch. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. We are Speaking at the... Speaking of merch, new stuff is on the way. Be on the lookout for that. Yeah, somebody um, just got a shirt delivered to them. I excellent. Got, I was looking at it... Uh, it was Excellent. the email that got sent to you, whatever. Yep, yep. Uh, we are okay. on the 15 or the 20 and the $25 tier. That's what it is. You stay on that for two months, and then you get a shirt. So you get the benefits of Patreon, and then you get a shirt out of it. So Speaking yeah. of tiers, dear listener. Not uh, this kind. Huh? Not this kind. <laughs> it's Revo's birthday. It's Revo's birthday. Correct. Um, Revo birthday. may or may not show up. Um, he's been... <laughs> enjoying his birthday in Korea, to my understanding. Yes, sir, so, Bob. Uh, I think that his, yes, sir, his, Bob. His long, all of his, all of his moments spent with his spent with his friends, I think, is uh, keeping him rather occupied. But we're still going to do this stream for him, and he's going to catch it when he can. That's right. So, Shout out to Revo. Yep. Um, one of our favorite human beings, man. One of our favorite homo sapiens of all time. Yep. Gotta be. It, he's put us in the know with, with the old stuff and with the new K-pop stuff. That's so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. With, with the old, with the old stuff indeed. Happy birthday, Revo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honestly, though, shout out to the big homie Revo, man. He, he's, uh, he, he's, he's one of the. He's one of them ones, as we used to say in the hood. He wanted them ones, man. Yeah. He wanted them ones. The real ones. He's one of them ones. Okay, so as you guys know, the DJs always have an opportunity to say what it is they want us to hear and to know before the stream starts. And this is Revo's intro. He says, it's Revo's birthday again. <laughs> He said, I'm on a trip to East Asian, um, two East Asian countries, and I am actually going to make you endure a stream of some of the latest K-pop hits. Ah, oh boy. A lot of go. the music is actually influenced a lot by 1990s hip-hop and, and 80s rock, as that was when the genre first developed. Definitely see some of that in there. Last year, I did a stream with... We're on the lookout for that. Uh, Sayo Tajai. And, and the boys. I'm not, I'm completely destroying that enunciation. Forgive me, but that's, that's as much as you're going to get from me. <laughs> I barely graduated high school. I went to public school. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> the she continues. <laughs> the groups who break out introduced Jack New Swing Style Hip Hop that is considered the start of K-pop because this event happened on the same day as my birthday, he says, which is April 11th. This year, I'm going with... With current hits based on music video counts, I'm actually going to start in November of last year since those songs continue to to rack it higher with view counts on even at the start uh, of the year. I don't necessarily like these songs or the artists. <laughs> it's based on the metric of the songs that attracted the most attention on YouTube, which traditionally biases girl groups. 
Girl groups get the highest streams on music sites like Spotify or YouTube, but boy groups have the highest physical sales. Wow. That is interesting. That is, that is and the, the great Revo has entered the room, by the Yay! way. Shout out to Revo. Happy birthday, my guy. Can we whisper? Oh, what? Where, where's our sound coming from? Uh, it's probably coming from the MacBook itself. Let me okay, plug I'll this. let you handle it. Let me that. plug this guy in here. Girl group. Okay, so we already heard that about the girl groups. Um, get the highest physical sales. That Honestly, that like annoys me. It's like, okay, so you'll tune in to watch them jump around on screen and listen to their music, but you won't actually buy stuff that's going to give them money. Extremist. He says one is more popular than the other. doesn't mean the other ones are going broke. Good I didn't say night. they were going broke. I just said, you know, they people should support the girl groups too. Physical sales are highest in the in the guys. Okay, K-pop tends to be dominated by girls who will spend like crazy for their favorite boy groups, but will listen a lot to girl groups. Okay, so it's the girls screwing over the girls. <laughs> girl groups get listened to. Boy groups get bought. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. Uh, you are incredible. <laughs> I never miss. It, it never ends. I never miss. It never ends with this one. <laughs> I never God. Miss. God almighty. I'm learning. God almighty. <laughs> okay, so that was Help the intro. Us, Lord. Help us. Help that, us. That was the intro to the stream. Now we have the intro to the song. Yes. Now we're going to hear about the intro to the song as well, dear listeners. All right. Stand so by. I need I need that timestamp again. Uh, well, right now it's at 1422. 1422. Okay. So, first band is Stray Kids with the song La 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 La. This is a group put together by y uh, JYP, which is the only one of the major K pop labels that you haven't yet reacted to. Its label founder, JY Park, got his start as a pop singer in the 1990s. In Korea, his first major group was GOD, sang ballads that were popular in the first gen. His American style pop occasionally caused controversy, most notably uh -oh. coming of age ceremony by female 17 year old Park Ji Yoon, who because a suicidal as a result of the backlash by her family's religious backgrounds. Wait, she, she killed herself. Is that what happened? Man, these guys always do that. The company exploded internationally in 2005 when it entered a partnership with Bad Boy Record, P. Diddy. Oh, shit. With Shout out to P. Diddy. <laughs> uh-huh. JYP writing songs for Will Smith. Cassie at the time, advertising the R. Kelly, was helping train his groups. His girl group, Wonder Girls, became massive in 2007, helping ushering in the bubblegum electropop of second-gen K-pop. This is the company's fourth-gen group. This group has three songwriters in the group called Three Rush. Uh, is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, that's, that's this company that's of the what top major K-pop companies has the worst domestic sales popularity in Korea, but is carried by international success, particularly in Japan and the U.S. The song is written and produced by three of the members with Restart. They have their own universe storyline behind their songs, which was a trend started by SM and popularized by BTS that often uses. Uni union themes? Jungian. Hmm. You'll see Chinese symbols for anger, sorrow, joy, and enjoyment. Wordplay because rock sounds similar to lack, which is for enjoyment. In the music video, it appears they're eliminating the negative emotions in favor of enjoyment. <laughs> it is the lead single from their album, Rockstar. The oldest is 26. The youngest is 23. Their fandom name is Stay. This was released, no this was released November of 2023. All oh, right, wow. guys, there the you go. The album cover made me think it was coming, like, it was the 80s. I'm trying to get my mind around Korea. There seems to be a lot of, like, moving parts and tradition versus, you know, innovation, mm -hmm. letting the kids live, like, literally. And the other thing is, a lot of these these stars over there in Korea are just checking out. It's weird. All yeah. right, let, let's start. All right, 1735 is the first song. Here we go. This is uh, Stray Kids La 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 La, right? That was yep. the first song. All right, Stray ah, Kids La 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 La. Here we go, losers. Let's do it. We got English subtitles. Looks like the official video, doesn't it? Don't pay, don't pay, 
Beats up, bass, drum, yo, say cow, I can chill, hygiene, deal, so We gon' rock, rock, boom, jig, give me, don't stop, stop, go for rock in the scale i've never even heard of a term called f natural <laughs> you guys sure. you guys, you guys sure. are actual musicians hey shout out to our crew on rumble thanks for showing up rumble gang That's in this right. bitch rumble gang check in this the link bitch. in the description if you want hey, to get on rumble hey, in share, the future share it around. we're gonna have some fun stuff there's certain things that you know youtube doesn't allow um namely watching movies together so that's going to be happening on Rumble. So if you're interested, TV shows, yeah. Maybe? So if you're interested in something like that, get the link in the description and get yourself signed up. It's free, to my understanding. That's all free. Which, so which one? Rumble to get to jump on to be able to oh, be a part of. Oh yeah, yeah, no diggity. So you just have to, you know, download it. Anyway, oh, all right. This my guitar fun. solo is apparently in the same scale as this song. So there you go. Fun. All oh, y'all was hating on your boy. <laughs> Y'all no. was hating on you, boy. You're like, oh, she's trash, man. No, you were, you were such a liar. What a liar. All right. Do you have the, uh, do, oh? What? Oh, you, pay, you played the, oh, English wait, translation okay. and lyric video. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay. It, look, it looks really official, but it looks like we Yeah, that's there. why for a second there, I was like, uh. Okay. Rumble is so another platform see. like uh, YouTube, Twitter, etc. Because we're expanding into doing movie watch-alongs. We're also expanding into doing show watch alongs and if you don't have a netflix subscription we're going to try to make it so that even if you don't have a netflix subscription you'll be able to watch the stuff with us because we have the netflix and the hulu and the max and all the other subscriptions so basically one of the things we're planning is that anytime there's a big movie or something like that like dune for example if dune part two gets released like you know mm -hmm. we watch that and uh if you're on a certain tier in patreon you automatically get a ticket blah 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 blah, blah. so like it's it's formulating the first step is get on Rumble because we have uh, get on Rumble, get on Twitter, get on Twitch because we we we're planning on doing this pretty heavily and we don't want to have to keep worrying about the copyright stuff. Yeah, Jed, don't stuff. worry about it. You're not going to need Netflix. We, we've got that other the other plan to make it happen. All right. Yeah, you won't you won't need it if you if you have the subscription. Uh, if you don't have a Netflix subscription, you don't, you won't need it um, the way that we're doing it. All right. So it's basically so. that. Okay, now. Do me a favor and send me the link to the website that you're on right that now. That is on Trello. Oh, it's on Trello? Okay. Yep, it's right up on Trello. Okay. You got the so timestamps and everything? The, for... Yeah. Okay. Yep. Go for it. Welcome to heaven, rock. <laughs> Thunderbolt, rock. Cities, rock, rock. Having fun is all that matters, rock. Um, So that's the word. It's like lock, which I guess sounds like rock when they're saying it. Gotcha. Is what he said. Um, I think if I understood that correctly. No more worries. Rock hard nights. Hanging in until it's over until uh, oh, are you okay yeah uh after pain comes joy trivial thoughts i i actually like that like why well it's it's seemingly well i'm glad positive. to hear that you know message uh yeah. after pain comes joy considering how hard yeah. it is for these um yeah for um these i mean kids. any of the artists in yeah. korea but it looks like the girls really have it bad yeah. Looks like the girls over there the in Korea, base. like there's a lot of shit that they have to go through, but yeah, 
But it, it, yeah, it, it, it also looks like the, it's, it seems like they're both just crumb. I don't know if it's crumbling under the pressure as much as it is. It's like, you know, we've got the internet. Like we could God, see how everybody, we could see how everybody else lives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's, it's a little bit different because I'm not getting like a revolutionary sense or whatever, mm -hmm. but you're definitely like, you're definitely getting some sort of uh, resistance, you know? To, to a degree and I don't know how how much resistance is wise mm. considering the circumstances that they're in but yeah. you know what can you do so um, he says trivial thoughts and worries okie dokie no more stupid stuff move move this is a beehive bees everywhere you can't hide from it put up with the getting with, with getting stung I, I don't really what's, understand what's funny about I that just, it, it just probably sounded different in their language and when it got communicated over to ours, I've just never heard of it. Like being a beehive and look out from getting put up with getting stung. You think he's talking about like when everybody's in there, is it almost like everybody's thrashing around? Like, is it like that? Like the beehive and you're going to get stung? Is, I, I don't this know is a beehive like bees everywhere. If you can't hide from it, put up with getting stung. Well, usually there's this phrase called hive mind. Okay. And hive mind is this idea. I mean, it's basically, the social media landscape we're in right now is basically everybody's together and everybody thinks the exact same thoughts and they do the exact same things to accomplish a goal because you know like a beehive it's a very industrious mm -hmm. almost okay. urban area down there and so you use the term hive mind to describe large groups of people who think feel act the same way about everything oh okay. uh, and it's it's a way of so talking it's about it's it, usually when you talk about a hive mind it's it's in a negative context okay. it's it's a way to talk about um you know the the, the constant clash between individualism and collectivism I just that's took it constantly, as that's constantly in motion. You're you're in a crew. They're probably like at a club or something like that, and everybody's bumping around like it's like a beehive up in here. There's a lot of action, and if you don't, you know, like you're gonna get stung. People are gonna get hurt. You're gonna get, you know what I mean? Like I thought that's what where he was going with that. Yeah, I think what he's saying is if you if you don't use if you don't conform to hive mind, then you're gonna get stung. In other words, that that particular culture or society is gonna find a way to punish you. Mm -hmm for not going along with the, you know, with the majority or whatever. Hmm. That's how I interpret it. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Bust uh, your ear drums, bang, bang, head banging with soaking wet hair, tighten your belt and keep moving without stopping. Throw away the needless formalities. There are no boundaries in enjoying ourselves. A joy so great, it's immeasurable. Good day. Lock, lock, unlock. I don't know what lock, lock, unlock is. But... It sounds fun. Lock, <laughs> what, lock, what are you, unlock. What's going uh, on? Yeah, I mean, to, I think that this could have like two meanings, right? You could have the whole, like what I was saying before, where it's like, okay, you're, you're in the club, it's like party time, like burst your eardrums, bang, bang, like we're playing it loud, head banging with soaking wet hair, tighten your belt and keep moving without stopping. Like, like there's so much action, like tighten your belt, like <laughs> don't lose your pants. And like, there's a lot going on. Yeah. But then he says, throw away the needless formalities, which could be like, you know, like when people feel like, what am I supposed to do in this group of people? Like when you have to think like that, then you can't be natural and you just can't enjoy yourself. Um, and I, I sometimes when I see, I love watching videos of like people dancing, especially if people are like, they just like give a, give way to it and they don't, you can tell there's like no insecurities anymore. Like they're just like, I'm just moving. I'm just enjoying myself. Self forgetfulness, right? Yeah. Is yeah. That Piper said the gift. The gift of self-forgetfulness. Is that what he said? Yeah, that's what he calls it. Hmm, I like that. Um, so it could be like that, but he says there are no boundaries in enjoying ourselves. But it could also be like everything that they're they're under, like the, the stress and the pressure that we hear about. Like it might be them saying like, we can just like push that off, like let that go. You know what I mean? Not like let that dictate to us how we're going to enjoy our lives and... Um, I was actually thinking about, there was something that I was like, okay, this, this, and this has to happen. And then I'll be able to like, um, in, in, enjoy this, this, and this thing. And I like, this is going to sound weird probably to you guys, but I immediately thought of this verse or like actually this person, in the Bible, Paul, you know, how he's, he's the guy that actually, he kills some, 
kills like a lot of people and then he becomes like a christian and he ends up in jail good thing there was no twitter when paul got saved <laughs> it's the over with uh, but he ends up in like jail and they're they like have locked him up there but he figured out how to be happy in whatever situation that he was in he was a like, content not maybe happy is not necessarily the word but yeah, content. He's content yeah yeah just like this sort of like subtle joy that is just like peace i'm okay you know and i was like like immediately when I said that, cause I'm kind of like, my life is sort of like being lived where it's like, if I'm having that internal dialogue, it's almost like a prayer. And then all of a sudden I saw Paul in the jail and I felt like God was like, if you, if Paul had that mindset, he would have never been able to write that verse because he would have probably said, once I get out of jail <laughs> and I could start preaching the word or whatever, like then that was, that would be his, his way to find like his contentment but instead he was able to find contentment in whatever situation he was in and so um you know god taught me something through that so i didn't know if they were sort of like in that situation where it's like you know what they can't fix everything in their government and they can't fix all of these problems that are making these these girls end their own lives like it's that oppressive um and you know they have to hide things and like i don't know like lyrically Somebody, Sometimes. somebody, it, it was a runaway siren girl where she was talking about, there's a protocol on how to report self-deletion because they recognize the fact that it, it does have a socially contagious effect. Yeah. And so like there's, there are certain rules for how you're supposed to present that so as not to influence other people in that direction. And so, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So when you're when you're seeing a rash of these people it's just it's very odd because it's like they're at the top of the game that is a part of it um and it's one of those things where it kind of becomes a catch-22 it's like well you want to bring awareness to it but the but the act of bringing awareness to it increases the risk and so now you have to triage okay you know, where is this person on the scale? You know, are they stable enough to where that information would make sense to them and they could say, okay, now we can now we can find ways to change or mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't know. It just it, it looks like a just a really so hard what's the situation. Answer? What's the answer? I mean, to be honest with you, I think a lot of it is gonna ameliorate itself in twenty years when that old guard dies. <laughs> Right, that the, the older generation over in Korea dies out, and then yeah. you're just left with these new jacks. I, yeah. I honestly, that's that's the only solution I could think of for specifically for Korea because it just, you know, like there are some aspects of respect and honor and things like that that you know that I learned in Taekwondo mm -hmm. that I did not. I just it was a deficit in America. And so, like, the way that the elderly or, or the older generation is looked on in Korea is good in the sense of, like, they value what the, you know, what their elders have to say. But there isn't that reciprocity on the other side where mm -hmm. the young kids, where the older ones are like, well, maybe they know things we don't know. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're, you know, they're looking at things from a different perspective. There isn't that kind of mutuality. So now it's all... And this is the way that they fight back. Like, that, mm -hmm. that's one of the things where I was just like, I'm going to let myself, because, like, here's the thing. Like, if I'm listening to Rage Against the Machine, I mean, literally, the band is called Rage Against the Machine. They have lyrics like anger is a gift, all the rest of it. And so resistance from an American standpoint is always very explicit. There's never any real subtlety to it because we were socialized, our forefathers. Yeah. We won't take shit from anybody. We're America. We have the Second Amendment. And so when there are marginalized groups in america and they push back there's usually like it's it's very aggressive whereas in other countries you can't come off that way mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it just you just cannot come off that way they were not socialized to be that aggressive about things like i honestly believe like i've been around we're we're americans are extremely aggressive like if if you compared as per capita in the world. You know, I've been to different areas and things and been in areas when shit was really, really, really violent, obviously. There's nobody who's as aggressive as an American just warfighter on it. You know, obviously, 
you know, people talk about ISIS and things like that. Those guys were, a lot of them were on barbiturates and opiates and shit when they were fighting. Um, Are our guys not on anything? Oh, no. Dudes take stuff, but it's, it's, I'm not going to get into it. But it's basically, like, there to enhance your war fighting capability. Um, it's just, Yikes. you know, there, there are certain issues with, uh, <laughs> after, obviously. But, like, these guys' resistance is not as in your face as America. They're oh, not going to put yeah. the middle. Like they're not going to. They're it. not yeah. going to do this and yeah. all the others. They're not going to do that. Yeah. Because one, they weren't socialized that way. Too. I don't really think that that um, that's real. That that's real revolution, obviously. So, um, just feel yeah. the rhythm of the world because we right. will make it rock. That's what I I liked right there because it was like he says. Twist, turn, and roll. Throw yourself out there. Face all the noise of the world. I don't know. I just kind of felt like it was them. Like it was, it's bigger than what, it's bigger than just them. And they're talking about like the world. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I guess it, it gave me this idea of like, sort of like a togetherness aspect of like for us all to rock together. And maybe that's like a, a, like a sort of rock way of saying like world peace. You know what I mean? catch the rhythm of the world and then there's the we're all rocking look if you if you, this is a hive like well, if you don't want to get stung like <laughs> oppressive oppressive context families governments tend to be more right-grained more logical and the younger generation is usually more emotion so and, and then it's it's really interesting because you know the the difference the distinction between logic and you know the head versus the heart when it says just feel the rhythm of the world right yeah he's talking about experience it yeah right like not in a book like experience it you know we talk about this with christianity it's like yeah you've got a book and the book is great but are you experiencing the person in the book? That's the issue. Mm -hmm. So like here, when he's saying, feel the rhythm of the world, that's not a cognitive exercise. Mm -hmm. So it's appealing to the other side of, of humanity, the side of us that's creative, the side of us that intuitively understands certain things, right? Like the, there's like when the music comes on and things of that nature, there's things that we just intuitively know that we didn't stop and think about and all the rest of it. Like I see with the kids, music comes on, they start moving. They're not thinking. Gosh. They're experiencing and feeling. And those actions are reverberations about what's going on there. And so like here, it's like, feel the rhythm of the world. It's a way of saying we don't have to be so... Yeah. Like, even when you look at music, right? Like, we've got people on the channel that are like, E minor, F diminished, blah, 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 yeah. blah. And it's like... I thought they were joking. I could never do that. I could never do that. And they've gotten to the point, though, where I think, you know, the Dwayne's, the Ian's, the CISO's, like, they've gotten to the point where they can they live in they can live in both worlds. And mm. like, oh, that's a... Oh, oh, wow, uh -huh. what they did there. Like, I don't have that, obviously. I never will. Uh -huh. But, like... It's crazy to me. I'm sitting there watching, but but what they're talking about here is like the heart. It's the focus on the heart. It's focused on experience. They're saying, look, not everything has a cool cookie cutter or whatever. This is about as re revolution revolutionary as as mm -hmm. uh, one can be. So um, I really I, I really appreciate it's, it's I'm gonna, impressive. I'm gonna jump on that last thing that you said. So I had to go someplace today, and all of a sudden the music started like it was like pumping. It was like really kind of subtle, but it was there. And all, I didn't hear the music. I saw Seneca first. He's one. And he was like headbanging hard. And then I was like, I realized that it was like boom, boom, boom. It was like exactly on beat with it. And he was like going. And so I finally, by the time I got my phone out, he was he was off beat with it. Um, but he kept like headbanging and he headbanged so hard. He smashed his little face into the thing that he was leaning on. But I have that. I might I might end up putting it up there on Patreon for you guys to see a little homie head banging so hard. And then he just like sat there with his finger on his nose for the longest. Was yeah, so cute. yeah but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I mean. It's yeah. like, it's a, that that's they're appealing to that side of you. The yeah, side yeah. of you that could do that when you were a kid, you know? Yeah. Okay, um, so I like I really like this song. It was like it 
It just had like a party feel to it. Like it felt like that we were out. And also, I think it's a good birthday song for Revo because <laughs> it uh, felt 100%. like a birthday party. Um, so I, this one, this was a pretty high rating for me. This is a 9.7. 9.7. Uh, yeah, this is one that if I was going to have like, you remember when um, we all used to do, actually, we haven't done that in a while. When uh, the kids, the kids are usually the ones that, the ones that initiate it, but they start like a dance party and they put, they start blasting the music and they can just do one song after the other. This one would be perfect for doing that. Jumping around in the living room is a 100%. dance party. 100%. Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, you know, music has always been part and parcel of a, um, of a movement, of a revolution. Mm -hmm. Um you know, it, there's just something about music that taps into something that we all needed that I guess we just didn't know that we needed it. You know what I'm saying? Like that to me is, is kind of like the, the fascinating thing about mm -hmm. this shit is like you don't really know how much you, you really need this stuff. Like it's not just I know for us, it's like, oh, yeah, it's fun, blah, blah, blah. But like it, it's it's a crazy, crazy thing. The, the gift that music is. It oh, really, 100%. Really is. Yeah. And it's um, it's not something that, that you know, I remember one time I, I was in a, I forgot what the class was. I don't even know why they had it like that. But long story short, like I was in a, I was in a class and we were talking about this. Yeah, but then it goes into a bad place. You know what? Forget it. All right. What do you, uh, you gave the song a what? I, was, I gave it a 9.7. 9.7. I'm going to give this one a solid, solid, solid 9.4. I really, really enjoyed it. I liked the movement, and I definitely liked the club feel for sure. For sure. Okay, so that's song numero uno, dear listener. We're literally at the beginning of all this. We'll see you beautiful people on the other side of the break. Finn out. Three out. Gone.